G'day folks, LJ Esquire here, coming at you like a bomb from the busy, bustling city of Davao in the Philippines. I'm here, right in the heart of it, on a new adventure, feeling like I need to get out of my comfort zone and explore the world. So here we are, exploring together, inspiring you. This place is... Uh, very intriguing. I've just Hello. arrived, so today we're getting my first impression. How are you doing, boss? <laughs> hey. What's the name of your... Looking page? good. Are you a uh, task force? The military? Yeah. Oh, nice, man. It's, it's good. It's a good day. Yeah. It's a good day to be alive. God bless you. Thank you. That's it. Okay. The people here are super friendly. Everyone's loving life in the Philippines. More fun in the Philippines, as they say. So, guys, my first impressions of Davao. Can I survive my first day here? <laughs> Look, everyone wants to say hello. How are you doing, boys? Hi. Hi. Where are you headed hello. today? What's happening today? What? Happening? Go, going to work? Working yeah. something? What yeah. do you do? I work in delivery. Uh, the super, the market. Yes, sir. Stock in the market. Good on you, champ. God bless you. All right. Yeah, this is a change from uh, Vietnam. The uh, commonly spoken English language is very refreshing. Anyone been to Davao in the Philippines? Comment below. I'm going to be here for a while, so I'm up for suggestions of places to visit. I'm going to put the hat on because it is hot outside. Here we go. As I said, it's very hot here, trying to keep myself protected from the sun in the peak of the day. And one thing I've observed is there's not many tourists here zero tourists zero foreigners so all the locals are doing a double take when they see the Esquire coming I want to say good day and see what I'm all about so um, here we are now feeling very welcome thank you Filipinos for uh, welcoming me to your beautiful city I believe it's the uh, the second biggest city in the Philippines this place relatively uh, Unknown to, to tourists and vloggers though. Very famous for its durian. You can see a big durian truck here. Jeepney full of durian there. So I will be sampling some durian while I'm here. So where are we going? We've got to get amongst it. We've got to get, get down some dark alleys, explore, talk to locals, see what's happening. How you doing? What are you guys doing? Shoes. Sewing it up. Yes, yes, I'm uh, stitching it up. This is uh, everyday life in Davao, the Philippines. People doing all kinds of things. Try to get on the local level and experience what they experience here. G'day. How you doing? It's uh... okay. You're a blogger? I am. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, beautiful city you have here, Davao. Yes. One of the safest city in the world. Safest city, they say. Yeah, it is very safe. Police doing a good job keeping it safe, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, good on you, mate. Okay, have a good day. Thank you. Bye, bye. Nice to meet you, my friend. You too. There you go. The police have said it. It's the safest city in the Philippines. Apparently, a politician uh, lives here. Very uh, well-known politician. Cleaned up all the crime, and uh, here we are. Very safe. Beautiful place. Okay, I'm gonna make my way down here. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine. You wanna say hello on my video? Hello. Okay, this your business here? This one. This one here? Yeah, it's my store. What, what, what are you selling there? Food, like this. You're selling food, all yes. right. She's got some fish here. Fish, yes, like okay. this. Some noodles there. Fish there, 25 pesos. This is my son. This is your son? Yes. Hey, okay, buddy, how you doing? Helping mum. Young fella, helping mum at work, okay. Thanks. You have a nice day. Yes. Bye bye, bye bye. Alright, I better get out of the sun here. I've just spotted this uh, interesting looking market here. We might go in for a look. How you doing? How you doing? Hi. Hi. You want to say hello on my video? Hello. 
<laughs> what, what are you selling here? Um, uh, mobile accessories. Mobile accessories, all right. Good on you. Oh, what happens is here? All tech, tech stuff, mobile phones and computers and stuff. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, what, can you tell me something? Uh, you're going to be shy on the camera. No, no, it's all right. I want to talk with you. All right, that's enough. Okay, thank you. So for those of you that are new to this channel, I'm Esquire. This is the Esquire Unlimited channel. Just a regular guy traveling and reaching his unlimited potential through the power of belief, self-belief, positive mindset. That's how we roll here. Okay, and keep putting out the vibes to everyone else that comes into contact. How are you doing, boys? Hey. Hey, how you doing? Hello. Shout out, it's my boss. Hi. How you doing, mate? Hello. I can see you want to be on the camera. You came uh, rushing out. Okay. Yeah, you're a superstar. No, yeah. I'm not a superstar yet. <laughs> this lady wants to be on the camera too. How are you? <laughs> How are you, love? What's your name? Uh, my name is Grace. Grace. Hi. Welcome Hi to guys. my vlog. <laughs> <laughs> so how are your experience in Davao? It's awesome, man. I love it here. Yeah. I love, I love, Thank the, you so much. I love the people. Esquire. Davao, life is here. It all starts in Davao. There we go, there wow. I am. Ooh, yeah. Subscribe. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. Okay, God bless you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, got some new friends. <laughs> legends, total legends. Do I want what? You want the girl? One five only. Pardon? One five only. One five yeah. only for girl? Yeah. Oh. You want? No, I don't want. Why? No, no, no. What's that? This is a camera. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Not sure what that was about, but uh, I think you get the gist. Wasn't expecting that on the streets of Davao. Uh, but here we are, tapping into the energy of the city. All right, I think we're in like a Chinatown kind of district. Right, right on the bustling corner here. I'm still a little bit uh, shocked by that last interaction, especially since I had the camera on. And she, uh, she could see I had a camera in my hand. But anyway, okay. Uh, just going to check the Google map here. All right, you guys know the Esquire likes his coffee, so we got to sample some of the uh, fine Filipino coffee they have here. So I've just had a look on Google Maps and uh, found myself a, what appears to be one of the top coffee roasters in the area. So we'll go check it out. Yeah, and I know all the men watching are gonna be like, Esquire, where's all the Sheilas? We just wanna see chicks. Esquire, where's all your chicks? Where's all the local girls? Of course, there's heaps of ladies here. They're very friendly from what I've experienced so far, willing to say hello, willing to have a chat. It's good to be able to communicate in English. They can speak English fluently. They understand a little bit of Western culture, movies, music, culture. You can have a discussion about it. It's, it's very, very refreshing. Okay, coffee, there we go. I think I found something. There's a sign here that says, Chiang Mai, Northern Thai Street Eats. Isn't that interesting? Look at that. A little slice of Chiang Mai in the heart of Davao. Shout out to all my Chiang Mai friends watching. Okay, this is Glass House Coffee. One of the top coffee spots in Davao, apparently. Looks cozy. I got a little bit of vinyl here, vinyl records, Steely Dan, Carol King. And that's one thing you notice when you come to the Philippines, the music, the bands that are playing at the pubs and stuff, they're all singing classic, they love the classic 80s and 90s kind of music, which is my kind of music. And if you've been to the Philippines, you know these guys, great musicians, great singers. So uh, looking forward to experiencing a bit of live music while I'm here, local live performers. 
Here's my coffee. Thank you so much. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Nice aroma. Okay, that's very different to uh, the Vietnam coffee I've been drinking as of late. I'd say it's closer to the Thailand flavors with a little bit of that fruity sour taste to it. Perhaps the difference is in the roasting. I believe the Thais don't roast the beans as long, therefore it gives it that slightly sour taste. Maybe a similar process to what they do here. But I'm not a coffee expert, so coffee experts, please comment below. Let me know if that statement is correct. And we're all coffeeed up, ready to rock and roll. Take this vlog to the next level. Anything can happen in Davao City. Hey, dude. Yo, dude. So I got myself an Airbnb very close to this location, which I will review, if not in this vlog, in my next vlog. Price was very reasonable and quality was, was very good. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Nice set of wheels, bro. Hey. Is that electric? It's electric. Electric, electric bike. Electric bike. Oh, where are you from? I'm from Australia. Australia, I come to Philippines. Thanks, man. Okay. Are you a taxi? You a taxi, taxi service? Uh, if you, if you want, if you want uh, to ride, you want to take, you want to take me to Chinatown? Oh, if you want, I go you there. How, how much? How much money you want? Seventy pesos. Seventy pesos. Oh, if you want. Okay. All right, seventy pesos. Let's do it, brother. Go. Here we go. Got myself a ride. Electric bike, electric bike, rock and roll. I'll start focus. Good on you, man. What's your name? Philip. Philip. Okay. Where your hotel? Where your hotel? I'm staying at Avida Tower. Avida. Yeah, yeah, not too far. Okay, we're going into the, going into the traffic. Oh. This thing's got a bit of power for a little, little small battery. He's not pedaling. You're not pedaling. He's just, uh, he's just cruising. The battery is doing all the work, and it's taking all my weight. I'm 73 kilos. How heavy are you? 73. You're about. We're about the same. There you go. Jeez, this this ride's going a little further than I thought. I'm getting my 70 pesos worth. We're overtaking everyone. I think you got the most powerful set of wheels, bro. Oh, yeah. You, can must, you got a big... Oh, this guy's pedaling. He's old school. This guy's pedaling hard. Rocking, brother. How you doing? <laughs> Looking good, mate. Looking good. <laughs> We're just overtaking. <laughs> okay, let's go. So you married, mate? You got a wife, a kids? I don't have. Single man. Single man. All right. A couple of single men cruising the streets. Where do we Where do we find the single ladies, mate? No, single ladies. Nice ones. You know, I want I want nice single ladies, well educated. Educated. Yeah, you know. That's ambitious. That is all right, your top tier. I want top. Oh, here, this is a. Uh, this is China. China this, this is Chinatown. Well, there's not, there's not much here. You got to take me a bit closer to the action, mate. Yeah, you got to take. Take me into the action. I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere. Okay, brother. Thanks for the ride. Bye. Have a good day. Have All the day. best. Don't know where I am, but we're going to give this a crack. Look at this, okay. We got some air conditioning here. This could be nice. One thing I notice in the Philippines, every time you step inside somewhere, there's lots of uh, security. They check your bags, they feel you up. Hello, love. So you're gonna cop on a feel as I walk in. It's all right. Hello, how are you? You fine? How's it going, buddy? 
you're welcome to the NCC department store. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Go, Brandy. It's your time. The ladies, my viewers want the ladies on the camera. How are you doing, ladies? Hi. How are you doing? Morning. Yeah. What's your name? Beverly. Beverly. Yeah. Looking good, Beverly. Yes. This is your friend? Yes, I'm Julianne. Ju Ju Julianne. 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 Okay. And what are you selling here? Some jewelry. Yes, jewelry. Okay. How's business? It's good? It's good. Yeah? Good. yeah. Getting good. Okay. What's your name? Carol. You, you look like the manager here. Are you the manager? Oh, oh, oh. I'm a dicer. Sorry? Promo Dice. Promo. Oh, Dice One Promo. Okay. Oh, All right. Dice. Good for you. And what about you? Yeah, I know you want to say hello. Come on. You have a, you have a beautiful smile. Hello. <laughs> okay. All right. Hello. Promo of Ego. Your promo girl for Ego. Yes. Okay. Sister Tama. Okay. You're the Fubu girl. Yes. And this is a Fubu. And a Fubu girl. Okay. Everyone's everyone's buzzing from the. I'm bringing the vibes, guys. Everyone's buzzing from the Esquire being in here in the department store. Okay, we're gonna head back out. Lots of fast food here in, in Davao. I notice we got McDonald's here. They love their uh, Jolly Bee KFC fried chicken. So it's been a little difficult for this, uh, this vegan to uh, get a meal around here, I'll be honest. Bit of a challenge at times, but there's always fruits. Always fruits. I'm still sporting these uh, colorblind lenses, guys. Just got myself a a fresh set as I did have the other set for many years and dropped them and sat on them and eventually uh, put them out of business so um, I do still love these sunglasses and if anyone else uh, needs some colorblind lenses I'll put a link below to get your hey bro how you doing rock and roll get on you man Bananas here, fried chicken. This guy's got some uh, some fruits with some sauce. Okay, they love their fried chicken here. Still yet to see one foreigner on this expedition. If we do come across one, we'll have to interview them, see them why they're here. Getting a lovely smile from this lady here. Hey, would you like to say hello to my video? Are you a YouTuber? I'm a YouTuber, yeah. Hi! Where are you going today? Um, we're going to a um, convenience store. Are you? Yes. Okay. I'm looking for interesting things around here. What, what can you recommend? Um, interesting things? Mm. Have you been to Samal? Oh, uh, not yet, but I, I will go to Samal. Yeah, that's... Everyone says when you come to... Davao, you must go to Samal, right? Yeah, because it's near. Okay. Okay. And what are you doing today? We just want to find things. Some for shopping. Our... Yeah. Okay. Is there a beautiful church around somewhere? Sure. This one, it's San Pedro Church. This is the big church, is it? Okay, yeah. we're right next to it. Should I go in there, you think? Yeah, you can. You okay, can. okay. <laughs> Thank you. You You're have welcome. a nice day. All Thank right. You, you too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, there we go. We got a lovely smile from a cute local lady. That's that's made my day. Check out the gun on this guy. I'm going to spin this around here if he if he doesn't mind. G'day, buddy. Can I uh, can I film? Is it okay if I take video? Yeah. I'm going to show the man here. I'm going to show this off. Look at this gun, man. That's a, a huge weapon. Oh, what is that? M M16. Wow, okay. This guy's got the M16. Huge piece of artillery. Wow. And you're you're hired for security for this, this building here. Okay. Now in, in Australia we certainly don't have M16s. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I've never seen one anyway. It's uh, quite quite impressive. Alright, now the lady said go over to the big church. So here we are. That's the big San Pedro's church. Now uh, I apologize if I'm swinging this camera around a little too much, but it is a new camera and I am adjusting to how to control it. So I'm doing my best. Okay, here we go. 
Pour some water. Uh, 20, 20 pesos for that? Uh, I need some water, yeah. We'll do that. Thank you. Hold on, champ. We'll get something for you. Here, you have Thank that one. You. Hold on, a little more. Hey, hey. Here we go. There you go, champ. All right. Okay. Got to help out the locals where you can. Sure. He wants to check out my bag. It's all right. Sure. No problem. And that's uh, common practice here in the Philippines. Anytime you step into a shopping mall or a church, they're going to take a look in your bag. That's cool. That's part of the it's part of the culture here. Now you might have noticed that the chap asking for a hand out there with the, with the coins. Now this is one thing I've been hit with as soon as I arrived here. As soon as I got out of the airport, there was uh, people, uh, we'd say, you know, living on the poverty line, looking for, uh, looking for some handouts. So, you know, you've got to do your bit where you can. I may have missed the ceremony because everyone's leaving. Lunchtime mass or something, I don't know. This wouldn't be a Philippines vlog without a little bit of the uh, religious culture thrown in. Wow, it's beautiful in here. Let's show you around here and uh, pay homage to Papa Jesus. Behind me is the Black Nazarene. And you can see the people touching him and um, he's obviously a very important figure in Filipino Catholic tradition. Now some people might correct me if I get this wrong, but from what I've been told, the Black Nazarene came about through a story about a Spanish boat that traveled from Spain to the Philippines, bringing a figure of Christ on the boat. The boat was burnt and scorched. I think everyone on the boat perished, but by some miracle, that Jesus figure survived and now is a sign of uh, faith and triumph to Filipino people. Brings good luck, brings miracles, because it was a miracle that he survived the scorching boat. So now a lot of Filipino people will uh, look to the Black Nazarene and, uh, for, for faith and for healing and for miracles. So. Uh, I'm sorry if I got that wrong. If there's any Filipino people watching that would like to correct me, uh, please comment below. But from what I know, that is the story. So I'm gonna go over there and touch the Black Nazarene myself. See what it's all about. And I did in fact touch the Black Nazarene myself. Did I feel something? Yes. I would describe it as somewhat of an electrical charge. I felt energy. I felt uh, faith. I felt, I felt good. It was, it was a beautiful feeling. So feeling blessed, feeling happy, feeling joyful here in Davao City. And it's chilled me right out, in fact, actually. I was quite hyperactive until I came in here. The energy in here is, is uh, quite beautiful. So uh, onwards and upwards into this Davao vlog. I hope you guys are enjoying this journey. And on the back onto the street. Hey, hey how you doing? <laughs> Bringing the vibes. Oh, we're going to find a feed. It's about time for a feed, I think. Okay, here we go. We've got a couple of local food restaurants here. Hello. Now, according to Google, I might get some vegetarian food in here. Here we go. You, you have any food? Yes. Yeah? Many, many food. Okay, I'm super hungry. Yeah. Some, some rice with, uh, yeah, I think this some of that. Yeah. This one is curry tofu. Okay. Yeah, curry. And this one is apritada tofu. Okay. And this one is tomato with tofu. Ooh. Spicy. All right, I like spicy. Yeah, and this is gulai vegetables mix. We've got a big feed here. Right, the Esquire doesn't mess around when it comes to food. 
give you a nice close look here at all this delicious food. We got some green veggies, of course. A few different flavors, some rice. Mm, very tasty. Yeah, that one's nice and spicy. Let's give a bite on this, this spring roll here. This is what it's all about, guys, getting into these local food experiences. Let's try this creamy one over here. Looks like it's got a bit of coconut milk or something like that. I think there's a little bit of Thai inspired flavors here in this, I think. Okay, guys, we just polished off the feed. Absolutely amazing. Great food, great value. Sitting here right on the, uh, in the local strip. Another great experience here in Davao City. I'll put that one on the map for you guys. How you doing champ? Having a rest? <laughs> this lady, I keep seeing you today. I've seen you before today, right? Did you see me before? Not 90 pesos for one kilo. Okay. Uh, how many how many rambutans do I get for half a kilo? Let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. Okay, we're gonna get some of these. What, what do you call these in the Philippines? What's the name for this in Philippines? Rambutan. Rambutan as well, okay. Same name. Okay, that's half a kilo, that's pretty good for 45. Look at that guys, 45 pesos for all that. Can I taste one to make sure they taste okay? All right, let's go. Cool, that is good. Mm. That was the perfect rambutan, can't fault that. Okay, we've got a sale. Got a little snack for later today. It's been a lot of fun. My first impressions of Davao. Look, it's all new, it's all exciting. It's an experience. It's a little bit rough and rugged. I know it's not glamorous, but hey, every new experience is a good one. Find the beauty in it and find the, the lessons in it getting out of your comfort zone, expanding your knowledge, expanding your experience, life experience, and growing. So uh, anyone that's been here, comment below, comment where I should visit while I'm here, because I will be here for a little bit longer, a few weeks in fact. I'm gonna show you my accommodation probably in the next vlog. <laughs> okay. You gotta love it, man. Everyone's friendly here. All right, guys. Peace out. See ya in the next episode. Yeah.